Hi, we're just doing a quick video here to talk about tapping. Tapping is also known as EFT or emotional freedom technique. And tapping is a really great way to shift our emotional states and our thoughts and our beliefs. It generally works really well with negative emotions, negative thoughts, negative beliefs. And what we're doing is we're tapping on some key parts of the body that are part of the meridian system. In traditional Chinese medicine, they talk about the acupuncture points, but the acupuncture points are places on the meridian. And in the meridians, we have chi that can move throughout our body. And the idea with acupuncture is that you're helping the chi to move more effectively and easily through the body. We can do that with tapping. So we're tapping usually with the fingertips of our uh, fingers on different points. And I'm just gonna call up a picture here where I've indicated the points. So you've got the two parts, two spots in the eyebrow. So this is where all the green spots are, the eyebrow point, the side of the eye, beside the eye, under the eye, under the nose, on the natural indent in the chin. These red spots just indicate the start of my collarbone. It's the green spots here where you go down to tap on the uh, collarbone point. And under the arm is basically kind of seam bra line. So I just tend to do a black hand. And then we've got the side of the hand here where the baby finger runs. And then it's another point here is the back of the hand in the natural indent between the baby finger and ring finger. And then we also have the top of the head. So I just created that picture of the points because sometimes I see people instead of tapping right on the eyebrow point here, they're kind of all over their forehead. So it's just the start of the eyebrow and you can do both points with two fingers like that. You can do, I, I will tap around my glasses and under my glasses, uh, under the, the nose on the chin. The collarbone point, you, I tend to tap with my fingertip. You could tap with a flat hand. That's another option as well. Um, for the side of the hand, you could do either side. You could do both hands like this. Some people will tap uh, bilaterally on, on the points that are on both sides of the body. Again, there's no right or wrong with this top of the head. Um, this point here is known for being good for panic and just quite intense emotions. So this can be also uh, used just kind of by itself and any of the points can be used by themselves. So you don't have to do all of the points. And if you're just talking about an upsetting story, then just, you know, tap while you're telling that story or if somebody's telling you an upsetting story, just find a spot that feels good to tap. These points here can be nice. You can have your hands under a desk on a meeting and nobody needs to know that you're tapping and you don't have to tap. So you can hold, you can rub. So you could just be sitting at your desk and just kind of holding these points and listening to somebody else's story as they're telling you that upsetting thing. And it's not triggering your nervous system. One of the other things that people ask about with tapping is this this idea that oh, I'm supposed to be thinking positive. I'm supposed to be talking about positive things. And yes, that's true. But if I'm feeling really upset or really negative, talking in a positive way might shift me into a better state, but it might just make things a little kind of worse. So just acknowledging, even though I feel really sad, even though I'm angry, even though I'm frustrated, whatever that might be, just helps acknowledge to our nervous system that, yeah, there's this energy going on and, it, and it's bothering me. And that in and of itself can make a difference. So just to know that when we're in a negative state, that tapping on that, saying that out loud is actually soothing to the nervous system, helps us shift into that better state a little more easily. One of the things you wanna do 
prior to tapping is just to read it on a scale. Most people find a numerical scale helpful. If you don't find numbers helpful, then find another way to just identify what that is. So zero to 10, my sadness. With zero being none, 10 being the most I could imagine. So you're looking for the intensity scale. Sometimes you also want to look for the truth scale. So I might have a thought that um, I'll never be happy again if, if, say, I'm feeling sad. So I look on a scale of zero to 10, how true does that feel? It doesn't have to be how true that actually is, but just how true does that feel to me in this moment? And by finding a number, say it's maybe a seven out of 10, then as I'm doing my tapping, I can check in on that scale again to see, has that come down? Does it feel like this is 6.5 or maybe it's dropped to a two or maybe it's even gone to a zero? So as you identify where the number is on that scale, then that can make it easier to identify the progress that you're making. So identify where on the scale that number is. Or if you're looking for, oh, this sadness is a just a gray ball in my chest. And you can identify, well, is it the size of a bowling ball is the size of a grapefruit, is the size of a, um, I say a golf ball, something like that. And as you can identify that, well, maybe it's like th this size, but then I do some tapping and it starts to shift and maybe the gray color starts to drain away a little bit. Maybe it's looking a bit more clear. Maybe I'm feeling kind of a little bit lighter and, and freer in my body. So these are some of the basic tips for tapping. The other thing I would say about tapping is you can't mess this up. So when Gary Craig, the fellow who created the tapping, did this and then would do trainings and workshops, he noticed that people were tapping on all the wrong spots and saying all the wrong things, and it would still work. So just to know that tapping can work even if you kind of mess it up. So um, just to be creative with it, to play with it, and to just identify, is it working? If it's not working, then, then try it in a different way. The basic recipe for tapping is even though I have this blank, I love and accept myself anyway. So even though I have this anxiety, I love and accept myself anyway. Even though I have this sadness, I love and accept myself anyway. And the tail end, I love and accept myself anyway, that can be modified. So I deeply and profoundly love and accept myself. I'm open to loving and accepting myself. I'd love to love and accept myself. There's lots of different ways that you can do this. When we're doing it with kids, it could be even though I'm feeling frustrated, I'm a good kid anyway. So you can play with the tail end of that statement as well. And we generally run that first statement about three times. So even though I have this sadness, I love and accept myself anyway. Even though I have all these sad feelings, I'm a good person. I have a good heart, even though I have this sadness. And this sadness is a gray ball in my chest. Could I love and accept myself anyway? And then what you do is you work on the spots on the body. So I tend to start with the eyebrows. Some people will start the, the top of the head. Either way is fine. This sadness, this sadness, this sadness, all this sadness, all these sad feelings. You can mix it up a little bit. All this sadness, all these sad feelings, all this sadness. And then check in on your number. Has that shifted? Generally speaking, it will stay the same at, or drop. You want it dropping on that scale of intensity or truth. If it goes up a bit, it may be that you've, you haven't quite identified the right feeling. So maybe it's not sadness. Maybe it's fear. Maybe it's some other emotion that you're aware of maybe it 
just triggered a memory. And so sometimes if we get a memory triggered, then often it'll come up. So not to worry if it comes up, you can keep tapping and bring that down again. And the goal is to bring it as to close to a zero as you can. But sometimes if something's a seven and I tap and I bring it down to a five or a four, that's good enough for where I am in my day. I just want to get a little bit of relief and start to feel better. So that's kind of an overview of the tapping. There's more that we can take into this, but that's your basic recipe. Starting with, even though I have this, I love and accept myself anyway, this fill in the blank, this fill in the blank, et cetera. And then you don't have to go to the side of the hand. Uh, the next time you can just start tapping on any of the points and just start bringing it down and use your intuition. If you just feel like, yeah, there's a spot here that I really would like to work on, then um, just go for that and play with it, see what works. And let me know if you have any questions, if you have any comments, if there's anything that I can um, uh, answer for you, get back to you, let me know what works, what doesn't. My name is Sean Gallagher, and I am at seangallagher.com, S-H-A-W-N-G-A-L-L-A-G-H-E-R.com, 416-255-8333, if you want to reach me. Thank you.